So I thought I'd start this video <laughs> with a picture of the toilet. <laughs> now I was up till five in the morning last night <clears throat> working on this doggone toilet. Man, I tell you what, I couldn't be a plumber. No way, no how. That's why I, that's why they make so much, man. And I tell you what, I have been ripped off by some plumbers. But it uh, it took me a lot of time. But this is the new bidet. Look at this thing. They have these on sale right now on Amazon. Uh, originally they were like $65. I think I picked this up for about $28 or so. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, you see it just connects into the cold water line down here. Now that's a hot water line that's disconnected because that Lux idiot uh, piece of garbage. Let's go get that on the video next. I'm going to show you what broke and, and how you got to be careful with these bidets. But I tell you what, it's worth the money, man. You know, you want a clean butt? <laughs> get you a bidet. So this is the old bidet that I took off the toilet and cleaned it thoroughly. And uh, there's, there's the brush. By the way, if you want to get some good brushes, man, these are great for cleaning golf clubs. But I also use it for all kinds of things. And so what happened was, uh, because we were cleaning it, this, little, this is a fragile little plastic piece broke off right here, you know. So what I was going to do was try to glue this back on, and I bought this, this super glue, and I'm going to try it, and I've got this clamp. So I am going to try to repair this thing. It's always good to have a spare of everything, but I do like that other bidet better. But I wanted to show you what, what this thing is and why you don't want to buy it. This is the, uh, the Lux. See it right there? L-U-X-E, -L Lux Bidet, and that's what was on the toilet, and I bought it because it's had got the, the hot water and the cold, and plus you got the two two inlets right here. Um, you know, uh, I just didn't really think about the fact that this plastic could break off so easily, and plus the way this is designed, it's kind of tough to clean, you know, when it's down in the toilet, and I understand my wife, she broke it off, you know, so whatever. Uh, she was just trying to clean it. Makes sense, you know. You might say, oh, God, Kirk, you're touching the thing. <laughs> Believe me, I have sterilized this thing with alcohol and Clorox and everything else. So it's, uh, it's totally ready for me to try to glue it. So what I did, okay, so I like this boot fix glue and I like the shoe fix glue uh, because my shoes are constantly coming apart because I walk so much because, you know, I do all my hiking. Um... And so originally I was just going to use this, but then I thought, you know what, I need, I'm going to go up on Amazon and see if I can find another glue that might be better for plastic to try to glue this thing back together right here. And so that's where we are. So now we're going to test out the mics that I bought for the trip, at the 10,000 mile journey. We're going to test them out and uh, see how they work out. You let me know. So this is just kind of a, you know, nothing review type video about life in general and you know how I'm moving forward getting ready for the 10,000 mile trip. So thought I'd add just a couple things here to the video. Um, this is what it takes to get ready for a trip you know to travel 10,000 miles. Um, long time back I made a couple of videos on putting this hot water heater in and this is a, I changed it. it used to be a 40 gallon hot water heater and I put it in as a 50 gallon now uh you know could you get one of those uh you know um hot water uh, things that uh, just heat your water as you use it uh, and i really was going to go that route but then i thought about it and i said man you know what this is an emergency water supply you know so if we do have a hurricane that comes through and assuming my house is still here after a major storm or whatever and the power is out um i can always take the water out of this hot water heater and use it for emergency power. And you notice what I do, I do all kinds of crazy shit. You know, $419 yearly cost, uh, cause it's electric, uh, 0 0.93 energy rate, and you know, there's kilowatts. And so, you know, I, when I find out things, you know, it's, it's good. And this is a label maker that I bought. You might want to get one of these. I use, man, I tell you what, I put labels and notes on everything with that thing. Um, now is the tape cheap? No, not really, I mean, it's kind of, but I wanted to just talk about household maintenance, okay? So look at here, all right? The other hot water heater, see this spout right here? There was a big pan that blocked this spout and I couldn't drain that hot water heater. Now, one of the things I gotta do before I get on the, the, the 10,000 mile journey 
because I might be gone, you know, two, three months. I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't know what's going to happen on this this thing, you know. Hell, we've got Southeast, Southwest Airlines. <laughs> They're protesting against them vax mandate. Good for them, man. Good for them. You know, we got to stand up as a nation and, and, and fight this authoritarianism. And there goes the uh, air conditioner. But anyway, one of the things i got to do, and this is something you're going to want to do, is i got to hook a hose up right here. Okay, and I couldn't do this with the old hot water heater. And I'm going to drain this thing because you want to get the sediment out. Okay, we do have hard water here. And I, I, I was going to put in a water softener system, but they wanted like two or $3,000. I, Folks, I'm not made of money, man. I can't afford that. Um, and so another thing, you know, if you got a hot water heater, gas or electric, <laughs> make sure make sure you flip the breaker off before you drain the hot water heater. You know, it's kind of like a nuclear, uh, you know, one of those nuclear reactors. You don't want to expose the rods uh, unless you've got the, you know, the, the, you've powered down the uh, nuclear power plant properly. Uh, and before you drain that water out, you know, so make sure you flip that dog on circuit breaker And I'm glad the air conditioner came on because it reminded me I I pay a, a service to come in twice a year and they check everything out and you know and it it kind of reminds me and uh, You know up here see look up here. I I've got these uh These filters on top of the hot water heater that I keep for the air conditioner now they th th That guy that came in and worked on the air conditioner he he said that I change the filter in here once a month. Now, I, no way, no way I'm changing those filters once a month. I mean, come on, you know. I, I understand it'd probably be the prudent thing to do, but I mean, you know, who could afford that? Those things are not cheap. I mean, well, I mean, they're fairly cheap, but I mean, you don't want to just be throwing one away every month. So I change them, I, well, I change them out about every three months or so, you know, depending on how much this thing is running, you know, and, uh, um, but anyway, I'm, I'm, you know, so anyway, that's my point is you got to change out your, your, uh, your heating system or your, your, uh, air, uh, air conditioner filter, you know, about every once every three months or six months, you know, you just can't forget about it because that does, when it gets clogged up, man, it'll restrict that airflow and that's going to burn more electricity. All right, so let's get on to testing out the mics. I know, I know you probably wonder, why am I talking about all this stupid stuff before I even test the mics? Well, you know, I'm just kind of hitting on things that, you know, you're gonna want to think about if you ever go on a 10,000 mile journey. You know, while I'm walking around showing you stupid stuff that I've done to get ready for the, the trip, you know, one thing you have to have in Florida is ice, man. Now my wife bought these at the dollar store and uh, what was happening was every time I tried to put them down in the freezer, because it's a French door freezer, and I'll show you that in just a second, is I was spilling the water all over the gosh dang place. And, you know, um, so I went to Amazon, and these are expensive, man. I think I paid like $32 for just two of these. But you see how it's got the lid. And so what I can do is I can drop those down in the French door freezer. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. You know, here's, here's some other purchases that I've made for the trip. Uh, well, and, and just for golf, or even just being in Florida, okay, this is the Yeti um, water thermos, you know, and it keeps the water pretty doggone cold. So when I go hiking, I can always, you know, I, of course, I have my, my cup that I take along with me, and then I just dump this water, and a lot of times I'll fill that with ice, uh, if you've got ice. And so let's just show you, this is the French door, so there you go. So let's just, and by the way, these ice packs, man, you're going to want to get these. Cooler, cooler shock. Don't know if you can get them anymore, but I tell you what, man, they keep things cold and they last a long time, a lot longer than ice for sure. And there's the other ice tray right there. So you can see what I can do is stack those two in there, and then that makes it a lot easier to get these in. Okay. And uh, there you go. Just put those down in there. And then uh, and just keep everything frozen. So there you go. One more thing for you. By the way, you might say that banana is too ripe. I'm getting ready to eat that right now. You know, one of the things I'm digging about this GoPro is the front-facing camera because I can I can look and kind of see how I'm showing up in the image, uh, even though it is from a distance. So the first video here is with the um, GoPro, just using the Media Mod that I bought for eighty dollars at uh, Best Buy. Um, why did I buy it at Best Buy? Like I said, I like to buy locally so that I can always return it. You know, I'm sending stuff back to Amazon. They do pretty good, but uh, 
There's, I can't tell you the number of stuff that I've bought that it works for the 30 days and then boom, you can't send it back. You know, and then you contact or you try to contact the manufacturer. I think they've actually cut out all the warranty staff and the warranties don't even exist anymore for most things. So um, let's try the purple mic next. Let's do it. So once again, we're hooking, we're using the media mod with the GoPro. And um, I'm not sure what this that came with the purple mic is about because I don't know anything that uses this connector. This is not a C connector. Maybe there's some audio equipment. Uh, if you want to leave a comment below, I mean, you know, you can't really see it from there. One of the things that I do like um, with the purple mic is it does come with a pretty long cord, you know. And uh, that's, this is nice. This means I can back that camera off when I'm out in the woods and stuff uh, as far as I want or maybe even, you know, walk around and show you some stuff. Um, uh, you know, one of the things I have learned, okay, is, uh, and I'm not sure the audio stuff, but see how this, well, you can't see it from there, but it has three, three lines and that connects into this little attachment that came with the purple, purple mic, uh, well, let's see what it's called. It's called the, uh, purple panda, purple panda. That's what we're going to try. And I'm hoping, man, I'm praying to God that this works because that means we've got um, an external mic capability for the GoPro, and that solves all my um, sound problems for the trip. So let's, uh, but you do want to you take this three-prong plug, you plug it into the attachment, and then this will plug into the GoPro on uh, the back of the media mod, and let's see if it works. Yeah, you tell me, if you're listening to the sound quality, Without the mic plugged in, I got it on my shirt. We are ready to rock. I'm just gonna leave it right here, you know. Now, I, you know, you could probably put it down inside something if you didn't want it to look so unsightly, but you know me, I don't care what you think I look like. <laughs> let's give it a try. All right, so let's try it with the external mic. Hopefully this will work. So I have plugged the Purple Panda into the camera or the media mod on the, on the GoPro Hero 9 um, camera here. I don't know if it's working. There might be some configuration settings that I need, but what I'm using right now, because I really haven't learned how to make a custom configuration for the GoPro, and I told you that's something I just got to watch some videos on. I only have so much time, man. Uh, you can see from the front of the video all the stuff that I'm doing around the house. Um, so if the mic is working, I just wanted to, to show you a couple of things that, that we're going to cover. Well, we're not, I'm covering it right now. Is, so what I did is I went out and uh, I bought three extra batteries for the GoPro so that when I'm out in the forest, and uh, yeah, I, could use, I can use the car to charge everything up, uh, you know, and it, and it came with this charger. Now, what I discovered at Amazon was, okay, you could buy one of these batteries for about 20 bucks, okay? I hope the mic's working. And uh, then it was like two for, I don't know, 30, let's say. You know, and then it was like three for 48.95, plus you got this USB charger along with the battery. So you do the math. I mean, sometimes you got to spend a few extra bucks. I mean, so now I got, and they came, I'm, I'm impressed. I mean, they came fully charged. I was going to, I because I figured I better charge them up, get everything ready to go. And I, I plugged it into my computer because it's got the USB connection, you know. Um, and boom, they were all fully charged, which is unusual because the battery that came with the GoPro was only 50% charged. So I'm surprised they were able to ship them fully charged. And uh, what another nice thing that they came with was these little plastic boxes that I can put them in. And uh, we'll add all this to the GoPro kit. Um, so, yeah, so we're, we're looking good. Uh, the next thing for the trip, and... Uh, this is what we're going to try next, okay? This is called the Universal Cardioid Microphone, the VXR10. Movo Creators Wanted. So let me just show you the box. I have not unboxed it yet. And, uh, you know, we're going to try this mic next. I guess what I'll do is, you know, it's, it, i got to build these videos in stages. So I'm going to go in and, and uh, download this uh this video from the GoPro and see if the 
if I got, did improve this, I mean, if this thing's working, I'm good to go. I don't even really need this. I just thought, you know, I, I learned my lesson, man. And that says, uh, scan the code to activate your two-year warranty. Yeah, oh boy, maybe, maybe maybe that'll work. But what it's showing is it's showing this on top of the, of the GoPro. Um, so I guess when I'm doing some some hiking videos, maybe it'll improve my sound quality. But I, like I said, I, I like the sound quality with the medium on. I mean, so hopefully that the external microphone's working, unless I've missed a configuration setting. Because I, I did see where you have to set the GoPro to the front mic or the back mic or you know I don't know. So I'm learning about all this crap as I go. Um, so let's uh, let's stop, pause the video there, and I'll download it and see if things worked.